Hello everyone. We've had a few really horrible showers, but it's, it's turning crispy and cold now. So I'm out in the local woods and I'm going to collect some greenery for our seasonal decorations. And I'm going to make a tree because we never have a tree. We just have our own little, I suppose, it's like a sculpture of a tree made from greenery. So we had a terrible storm a few days back, so there should be lots of fallen branches here that I can take without any harm to anything. Okay. I was just thinking about the way that humans, that we here, like to bring in greenery during winter time, especially at the solstice season. And um, of course, these evergreens remind us of life everlasting while we're waiting for the sun to return. But I think there's more to it than that because think of the medicinal benefits of all these plants. We bring pine in and the smell of it alone is so uplifting. When you're in the dark days of winter and you know, you could be feeling worried that you'll never see the sun again. You could be feeling disheartened. Um, you could be feeling sad, but the smell of the pine alone is just so uplifting. And of course, it's full of vitamin C. It's full of um, other nutrients and minerals and vitamins that really boost the immune system at this time of year. And ivy, it's perfect. It's a perfect cough remedy. Ivy and thyme make a brilliant, um, soothing, Antitussive, it helps get the mucus up and gives great relief to chest infections. So I think that bringing in the holly and the ivy and the pine and the fir was not just for the beautiful aesthetics and the reminder that life is everlasting, but also to keep people going through the winter to boost their immune system and to lift their mood. We'll get a few more bits and bobs. Lovely ivy here and the tree won't mind and the ivy will grow back again. So a little snip. <sighs> Can't actually reach. Hey, so some lovely ivy. A little bit of larch so far that was blown down. We'll see what else we can get as we move along here. Woo. So here's a beautiful holly. Now people tend to think holly is dangerous and that they shouldn't use it. And yes, the berries can be very purgative, so they could be dangerous if you took too many. But the leaves make a delicious tea. And in the past, they would have been used for measles and for fevers and for things like that. Um, because I don't believe in really naming an illness. It's more what symptoms does the person present with. So people presenting with the symptoms of measles in the past would have been given infusions of holly leaves. It's really delicious. So I'm going to be seeing if I can find some holly that's been blown down. had a lovely day a lovely morning in the woodland and I'm going to go home now and make a tree from the branches so I'll see you there Thank you. 
Now another wreath for this back door. Just tuck that in there. Here's some of the branches I got in the forest. So what I do basically is I just make a bunch of flowers, um, trying to make it less a fan, um, which has happened in the past. So I'm trying to kind of put it together like a teepee. And then I'm just gonna tie them up. It's just I don't like the idea of a plastic tree because God knows what is in it and God knows what kind of damage it's caused to the environment in its production and in, in when you have to dispose of it. And I don't like the idea of a tree being chop, chopped down for the, just for two weeks and then it ends up on a rubbish tip or the landfill. So I came up with this idea about maybe 10 years ago and this is what I've been doing ever since. So there's my tree. I put it in a bucket. I'm going to put some water in here to keep the needles from shedding. And then I weigh it down with a few pebbles. And then I take it in the house and decorate it just as you would any kind of a tree. But the thing about this is um, you get the greenery, you get the beautiful scent and you feel as if you've brought a little bit of the forest in but with no harm to any tree and that makes you feel good anyway. So that's how we do it. Simple, again it's very rustic. I might have to adjust the branches depending where I put it in the house but um, I'll show you it later when it's in situ. There you go it's nearly finished it doesn't really look like a tree but it's got a bit of structure to it and so the lights are shining through and I'm thrilled with it because as I said there's no tree being harmed in the making of this Christmas or seasonal decoration so I'm just going to finish off here and get on with some other jobs around the house I hope you have a wonderful week do consider keeping an eye out for the herbal medicine course when when it's launched and if you enjoyed this video, please share it and subscribe and have a really lovely week and get into that Christmas spirit. Bye.